if you're like me, the announcement of Miyabi was super hype because again, this was a character that was in the closed beta tests and I got to see her. I didn't get to play as her, but I got to see her. And you got to see this character in the closed beta test and you were like, when is this character going to release? We need this hot, freaking serious cat girl in the games. But of course, ZZZ or Zen the Sun Zero or Hoy Hoyoverse. They pulled her back and they said, let us cook. And I think they're cooking something extra special with this character. And I think you know what we're going to be talking about today. If you've looked at the thumbnail, you probably understand what's going on. But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out that, you know, extra wonderful sponsor of mine known as Gamer Sub. So you just go Tystra right there for 10% off. The, the link's down in the description. Click on it. Make sure to get that Shy Lily drop that's about to happen. As of this release, it's only going to be a couple hours until that actual drop happens. And then also, it's my birthday. By the time of this rele the release of this video, it is now my birthday. And we're going to be doing a special live stream as my VTuber persona, Taineko, on twitch.tv forward slash Taisu Daisetsu. So it'd be wonderful if y'all could come by, get a couple cups. We're going to be doing some giveaways, all that good stuff. So make sure to tune in. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about Miyabi. Now with Miyabi, the announcement, a lot, a lot of us, at least... A lot of us who are, haven't been really paying attention too much just looked at this and we're like, dope, new character. And it's the character that we've been asking for for a very, very long time. Very easy. But did you see it? If you look at the picture a little bit closely, right? And I got an image right here. See where I circled right there? That's right. The ice emblem is change now before i truly like you know go into this i'm gonna go ahead and go back to twitter really quick and i want you to look at this this is the actual ice emblem this is what we see when we run sokaku lycaon ellen joe any of the regular ice characters however with miyabi here she has a very big alteration to her emblem and it is now looking like ice that either spreads out like crazy or it's ice with some sort of flame hue to it like think of it as like you know how fire flows and all that stuff and i'm not trying to be kazuma from konosuba like hore hore type stuff but hear me out on this i think that miyabi is going to have something in her kit regarding the flow of the ice it's going to make it so that it flows freely, just like fire. And it's going to be very, very weird because I've, I've always like thought about this concept. Like I used to do role play guilds over in Gaia online not, not the weird ones. Okay. Not the, not the ones where you go into the, the town section and you start, you know, you know, sexy time type stuff. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, where we'd actually do serious role playing, like different animes talking about powers and stuff like that. And I'd always see something of like ice and fire kind of meshing together. And then we saw, you know, with My Hero Academia, I, I haven't watched anything like recently, but you know, when Todoroki got his whole ice and fire powers and he's like a fusion of sorts, it was kind of something like that. But the difference is, is that the ice acts like ice and the fire acts like fire. And when I first looked at this, I was like, wow, so Miyabi's going to have like ice, you know, be her main thing. And then she could like flame on the like ice and it turns into water. And I was like trying to make this complicated. And I'm like, maybe it's really not that complicated or it is but not in the way of thinking. I think it's going to free flow like, you know, fire does itself, but it's going to be ice and you can get like frostbite or something like that. I don't know. With Miyabi, it's actually kind of a mystery and i'm very very excited for this but at the same time you know i'm skeptical i'm like hopefully like this is going to be saved for like rare occasions and the reason why i say that is like i don't want a whole slew of characters personally and i know that people might disagree with me this might be a hot take i don't care i want to say it i want this to be special special right we waited with bated breath for miyabi to come out right and that's great like it took her a long time they really 
worked on her kit, I'm pretty sure, because like again, if you're going to like have her in the closed beta test and not have her be brought out near like the beginning of the game, to me it's like okay, you better have worked on her kit to make it super strong. Um and they took a lot they took a little bit to really, really work on her. However, when it comes to this, this whole thing with this brand new symbol, right? Whatever this might be, I'm really, really hoping that they keep it special. Keep it limited to like big release characters, right? And again, I know that some people might disagree with me. They may want every character to have something like super, super special with them. And that's perfectly fine. You are entitled to your opinion. But I think if they do this like they do with like Archons and Genshin having like some of the most insane abilities out there, right? Or like with Honkai Star Rail where it's like a big character in the story comes along and they are just overpowered like Akron, like Firefly, like uh, freaking Fei Zhao. Or like with Wuwa with Camellia coming out, she's going to be busted, right? I just really hope that they keep this type of thing special, right? The one thing I will say though, I will say, probably another hot take. Why are we getting so many anomaly characters? <laughs> like, am I am I the crazy one? Like, I love Jade Doe. Jade Doe was my anomaly character of choice. And then we got Bernice, and then we got Yanagi, and now we're getting Miyabi. Dude, like, well, we gotta get some more wasabi. That probably wasn't that funny. Like, you could tell me if it wasn't funny in the comments. I know I'm I'm cringe AF. But that's not the point. The point is. Overall, I'm very excited for this, and I want to know in the comments down below, what do you think is going to be happening with this new emblem? Is it going to be a brand new type of element that fuses two, or is it going to be its own like evolution of the ice abilities, right? And what do you think about Miyabi? Let me know in the comments down below. That being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out, obviously, my wonderful sponsors at Gamersubs. Use code Tyser again for 10% off on that Shy Lily drop that is about to happen. And again, Thank you so much for being with me, y'all. It is my birthday. I do take days like this to appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. And I'm so incredibly blessed to have such a wonderful community. So anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.